Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business and today we will talk about two-factor authentication which became really popular these days. A lot of uh, famous websites are doing that, uh, like I'm, I'm personally using DigitalOcean and GitHub two-factor uh, and they send the code to me by email or SMS to log in. How to implement that in Laravel and we will do that first a demo. So I'm logging into a form. Uh, this project is generated by Quick Admin Panel, but it doesn't matter. You can use uh, Laravel Simple Auth, Make Auth, and two-factor authentication. I'm logged in. I'm logged in, but I need to have a code which is sent by email. In this example video, I, it is already a created project, and I will demo you the code, explain everything, and put a link to GitHub. But uh, Basically, yeah, let's let's see what we have here. And here I have an email to MailTrap. This is a default Laravel uh, Laravel template, as you can see. So we copy the code here, uh, verify, and then we are allowed to, to log in. And then if we click something, then it's no more relevant. So the code is already accepted. Now, how to implement that in Laravel? Uh, OK, step by step, here is the project. First, we need to add two new fields to users table. It's a default Laravel users table, uh, so we add those fields to users. First, uh, two-factor code itself, which is a string. In our case, it would be six digits uh, number, but you can do whatever. And then when it actually expires. So in our case, we will set that to expire in 10 minutes. Uh, in addition to those fields, we also need to add them to a user model. Uh, which is uh, two-factor expires, that would be a date. So it would be processed with carbon uh, later and then into fillable. So two-factor code and two-factor expires, that will be part of fillable. So that's step one. Next, we go to login controller and modify that. So if someone is logged in, we do this. Authenticated is a method from the core of Laravel authentication and we can override that. And here we have a few new things. So user generate to factor code would be um, uh, inside of user model, would be a method. Generate to factor code, this one. So it's pretty simple. So we generate the code, random number, we set the expire at in 10 minutes. Uh, the only probably interesting thing is timestamp false. So the decision is to not touch updated at because if we just do save updated at would be updated on every generation of every code which doesn't really make sense so this we generate that code and then we use laravel notification system to notify uh, notify the user send email and this notification class is doing nothing really fancy it's just uh, sending an email with that code and you saw that email in mailtrap Interesting part here is maybe not everyone knows that notifiable parameter is automatically set to whatever is the receiver. So this user uh, notify becomes notifiable. So we don't need to call this user or auth user or anything. It's inside of notifiable. And this code is coming from inside of user stable. Also, we will need a route uh, to verify because in that email, I will show that again <clears throat> uh, here, verify here, maybe that page isn't open anymore in the browser, so that link would lead to that page. And actually, we need to show that page every time on every page until the code is actually verified. So for that, we will use middleware. If we go to app HTTP middleware, What's the word two factor? So this is the middleware that would check if uh, if the person is allowed to log in and to process uh, proceed further, or we need to show the verify index. So what is the logic here? If the user is logged in and two factor code isn't empty, then if it is expired, so that we we're uh, kind of checking with now, if it is expired, we reset that. We log out. Reset means cleaning it up. We log out and redirect to login with message that the code is expired. Please log in again. And on login, it would be set to another code. Reset means in general logic. So two-factor code uh, should be empty. If it's empty, then user is either logged out or uh, logged in successfully. But if two-factor code is present, 
then we need to uh, redirect. So this part comes in then. And then we need to always redirect to verify if it's not verify itself, so it wouldn't be eternal loop. Uh, reset factor code is just resetting. You saw that already. Uh, so just setting to no, it's pretty similar. So generate code or reset code. So there are two methods in user, in user model. Uh, and uh, we redirect to route verify index whenever we, uh, whenever we need to verify. Now, if we go to our routes web, verify index is, well, we need to take care of these two things. But before that, the middleware. So middleware is called two-factor class to factor and we need to register that inside of the kernel app http kernel php file uh, so a lot of stuff here but we need this so we need to assign some name to that class in our case the name would be two factor and then we can use that name uh, in routes basically in routes in routes web we go back to routes web and this is our main group for admin uh, just actions that's again generated by quick admin panel but that could be your own internal routes and the whole group is middleware by auth but not only by auth it's also two-factor <clears throat> so we add two-factor middleware inside of whatever routes you want uh, in my case it's route group and then verification stuff so uh, two things basically resource for uh, for the page of index for, for the form and then to store uh, store is uh, checking actually what am I talking about let's see the code to factor controller so this one index would just show auth to factor which is which is that page exactly to factor blade uh, to factor verification uh, form for the input of, of SMS of email code I mean uh, and the message if it's uh, resent uh, so that is the index then store is actually the index is pointing to verify store so to check the code checking the code is a little bit longer so we validate is it integer and is it present uh, and then we check with authenticated user just if request is equal uh, the users the users column and if it is equal then we reset to factor code which is empty then and then we redirect to home or to admin or to dashboard or to whatever if it's not redirected then we redirect back that the code isn't correct uh, and final thing is resend so that uh, blade file contains contains the link if you haven't received the code, please uh, press here to verify resend. And all it does, it's generate another code, uh, sends the same notification as in login controller, and redirects back to with message to factor code has been sent again. And probably final thing I want to mention, I'm not sure if you know that, so with message is actually with redirect functions in Laravel, you can do with whatever, so with whatever, no, oh, sorry with whatever in caps lock with uh, first le letter in caps and then it becomes session whatever so in our case with message uh, becomes in blade it is accessible with session has message and session get message so that's probably the last part uh, now the final words the github repository will be available in the in the comments in the description of this YouTube video. Final thing I want to mention here is this project sends the notification, sends the email on any login uh, attempt, which is not realistic, not a real life scenario always. So feel free to modify that. So on login controller, modify that logic. For example, if user logs in with new IP address or from another country or from new device, so send uh, the notification then or every fifth time or every tenth time or for some users only. So feel free to modify this login controller part and probably middleware of two-factor. Where did it size? Yeah, so two-factor. So this logic. Feel free to modify that to your uh, existing situation, but the logic should be more or less the same. So hope it was useful. If you want to help this YouTube channel, uh, subscribe. Uh, Hit the bell button for notifications to be notified of new videos, which I shoot quite a, quite a lot of them recently. 
and also check out our uh, quick admin panel, our well quick admin panel generator, uh, which is kind of the basis of this project. Uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't generate to factor, but it generates admin panel for projects like this one. Yep. So see you guys in other videos.